Well, back here on Terra Firma, you know, people have been cooking with cannabis for years, but the legalization of weed in California has taken that to a new level. Home cooks are sharing their recipes online, and professional chefs are hosting multi-course meals. ABC7 Mornings anchor Natasha Zuves dishes up the details in tonight's California Cannabis Report. Chef Michael Magallanes has worked in some of the top restaurants in San Francisco, but the tasty dish he's making today has a special ingredient. This is going to be onion and potato pureed, and then I'm going to add some cannabis to it to infuse it. The legalization of cannabis has opened the kitchen door for cooks like Magallanes. This is infused olive oil. Cooking with cannabis isn't as easy as just tossing some weed into your dish. It takes some math, some science, and patience. I used rosin. For this, rosin is when you take cannabis, whether it be flowers, trim, whole plant, and you press it in between two pieces of metal that are heated. From that rosin, he carefully measures out a dosage based on his diner's experience with cannabis. And I'll know how much I'm putting down just through experimenting on my own. I'll put a plate onto a scale, put puree down, and I'll go, okay, that's 10 milligrams of puree. When he's done, you won't necessarily taste the cannabis, but you'll feel the effects of it. Magallanes was already hosting dinners for medical cannabis users, and now he wants to expand under the new law. According to the San Francisco Department of Cannabis, anyone who makes money on the sale of pot must have a license. As of right now, there aren't any specific regulations on how to deal with kitchen-based businesses, and so many of them are operating in a bit of a gray area while regulators hash out the new rules. If you're cooking it yourself, you can make it into anything that you like. At the Apothecarium in San Francisco's Marina District, canisseurs say sometimes you don't even taste the pot. Other times, like wine, pot complements your meal. You can turn it into garlic bread for your pasta dish. You can turn it into butter and cook different baked goods with it. You can make gummies. You can make hard candies out of it. Cannabis retailers say a lot of people are looking for new ways to use pot. And they don't have to look very far. The internet is flooded with recipes right now. If you have cannabis infused into an oil, you can literally literally use it for any sort of recipe. Like Monica Lowe and Chef Scott Peabody are behind Sue Weed, and they prep their cannabis using a sous vide, a constant temperature water bath that evenly infuses cooking oil. There's no aroma from it. It's all sealed in the bag, so it's, it's very uh, discreet. They say cooking cannabis is the best way to get the most out of your bud. You know, people think of stale brownies or, you know, things like that, baked goods, but um, we love doing everything we would normally cook. From salads to smoothies, they say you can get high or mellow out. Just know your dose. And if you're a beginner, start very low. Five to 10 milligrams is a beginner's dose. Wait about an hour. Um, to get the full effects, and then that way you know you know how much you can tolerate. Lots of new ways to have your pot legally and eat it, too. <laughs> Natasha Zubes, ABC 7 News.